Carolyn Gray, host of the Looking and Feeling Your Best at Any Age channel on YouTube, as well as the Information Queen channel on YouTube. But I'm stopping by to share a video, well, an outfit of the day with um, something that I struggled with. I wasn't sure what I wanted to wear today, and I wanted to try to wear like black so I could wear the gold necklace that my sister-in-law and goddaughters gave me for Christmas. However, I couldn't get the look to work the way that I wanted to. And so next thing you know, I saw this Ralph Lauren vest that was in the closet from um, a while back that I haven't worn in ages. And so I was like, do I want to give this away to charity or do I want to keep it? And so after playing around with it a little bit, I think I'm going to keep it. So I'm wearing a Ralph Lauren vest that I got from Marshalls um, probably about five or six years ago around maybe like $39 I'd say and then um, I'm wearing a pair of celebrity jeans um, corduroys that I found in the junior section of probably Marshalls if not um, Ross but they were under 20 bucks and so you know it makes it very easy to keep you know throwing together different black turtlenecks to go with black pants when you have them and you can just put a bunch of different things around them. So, um, what else, what else? All right, so the turtleneck that I'm wearing underneath is by White House Black Market, one of many that I've bought over the years. This is probably at least seven years old. So, um, probably about $48 or something like that if I didn't find it on sale. I, I don't even remember, it's too long ago. But um, the neat thing that I am wearing, I'm wearing the Ralph Lauren boots that I got from Marshalls probably about seven years ago as well. Um, they were probably like $79.99. They're the closest I get to riding boots now. I gave all of my riding boots to charity. For those of you who have encountered or battled plantar fasciitis, surprisingly, um, the flatter the heel, the more, um, the more my heels actually hurt. And so whenever I would wear riding boots, um, like the pairs that I used to have, um, my heel would throb afterwards and not just for a few minutes but like for a couple of days so riding boots surprisingly are one of the worst things that um, that I could do for my plantar fasciitis the thing that has worked for me to keep it at bay has been to wear wedges or thick heels like the ones you see here the pointy heels are not really my friends which is why you rarely see me wearing pointy um, pointy heel shoes. So anyway, those were like about $79 and the necklace that I'm wearing, not sure if you can see it, is by White House Black Market. I bought it as a gift for someone um, <clears throat> sometime last year, but I wound up not giving it to that person and I wound up keeping it for myself, one of the hazards of me shopping for people. And then um, this wonderful bracelet that I got from um, TJ Maxx actually for $14.99, but I had bought one in the past from Saks Fifth Avenue off Fifth for $19.99 at their outlet store. So at some point, this bracelet by Natasha was in the Saks Fifth Avenue store. And um, I'm also wearing some earrings by Natasha that I got at, um, I think, Nordstrom Rack. And since I'm all close up, um, I met a lady in, and I don't know if I should look at the, um, <laughs> if I should look at the mirror behind or actually look at the camera. But anyway, it looks like my eyes are aiming at the camera. So if they're not, please forgive me. So um, speaking of TJ Maxx or the discount stores, I was there a few days ago and I met a lady who was asking me about, you know, natural hair and blah, blah, blah. And so I feel kind of guilty when people see me with the little curly, um, um, what do you want to call it, a um, ponytail that I wear sometimes um, as my protective styling during the winter. It just started a few months ago. So um, I actually love it so much. I started after Halloween when I wore my Donna Ross getup. Um, and so I'm doing it as a protective style. This is what my hair looks like, lady that I met. Um, in case you wound up seeing this video, this is what I'm looking like before I decide whether or not I want to do the protective styling. I'm thinking that because it's cold outside and you know I'm not as thrilled with my little afro anymore, so I'm gonna pull my little um, afro puff up and um, you know put it into um, my protective style before I head out the door so I'll let you guys see what I look like after that and maybe even show you a different look I could have done with this outfit so I'll be right back and you'll see what I'm gonna look like when I head out the door the only way I would do a long video showing you know me putting the hairpiece on it wouldn't be that long but it would be you know kind of a pain in the butt to do unless there was a request for that but um, so I'm gonna go and put it on and I'll be back 
Okay, I'm back with my hair of the day, not just my outfit of the day. I don't want to wear the, um, the afro puff and I'm giving my afro a break so it can grow even longer and be fuller, um, hopefully by the summer. So, um, so just wanted to share this really quickly, you know, for the lady that um, was curious uh, what my real hair looked like. Um, when you go to the website, every picture that you see on the site is of my actual hair. Um, I haven't shown any pictures yet with the hair piece, other than I guess maybe if you look at the year in review blog that I did for 2017. Um, some of the personal pictures I put out might have had, um, you know, my little friend on there. But just wanted to share this really quickly. I think I prefer this hair of the day as opposed to the, um, the Afro puff I would have killed to have when I was um, a young kid back in the 70s. So, um, but anyway, just wanted to share this. And so I also said that there might be <clears throat> another outfit that I could have considered for, um, for this turtleneck with the um, corduroys that, you know, I found at the discount stores. Um, and I'm actually burning up because the heat is on for some goofy reason. But, um, well, I guess maybe because it's winter. So I could swap out this necklace. So we see which hair we prefer for the day. But let's see which outfit we're going to prefer. Here's the necklace that my um, sister-in-law and goddaughters gave me. They're twins. This is why I'm saying goddaughters and not just goddaughter. And they gave me this necklace, and she was adamant about me liking it. It's by Tracy Lynn. She didn't want to give it to me unless she thought that I really liked it and would wear it. I think it's pretty. It's not something that I normally would have picked because I kind of like necklaces, you know, to hang down a little. But I'm thinking that, you know, I probably could have worn it with um, the riding jacket that I got from Marshalls probably about five years ago. Um, it was on sale. It's by Ralph Lauren. It was on sale for, I think, um, $49.99. And it has like a little, um, kind of like velour or cord, a corduroy type material on the um, lapel. And so, which makes it a similar texture to um, the corduroys that I'm wearing. So like I said, this is the closest thing to a riding boot that I have. So this is a possibility for the outfit of the day, but since I haven't worn that vest in a while, I think I'm going to go with that. So switch back to the vest and maybe save this for a different turtleneck and a different, because I have at least four pairs of, um, you know, black skinny type um, jeans and different materials um, that I could swap out any number of black turtlenecks with and wear the necklace that um, that my loved ones gave me because um, if people give me something I really want you know to wear it especially when they go through such trouble to make sure they get something that they think I like. See I like it to hang like that preferably but I know that there's going to be something bomb and wonderful that I can do with that. I just don't know what it's going to be yet but that'll be my mission and I'll definitely come back and share an outfit of the day in the future with you guys once I figure it out. But until then, I'm going back to my vest. There's nothing wrong with a vest. I even have a white one by Ralph Lauren as well that I wear during the um, summer months without um, any shirt underneath. And believe it or not, with a longer skirt and some espadrilles, it actually looks, you know, quite conservative and nice without, you know, being overtly sectioned sexual or sexy rather. But anyway, that's all I got. Just wanted to share my outfit of the day as well as my hair of the day. So you can tell me which one you prefer. Um, but right now I'm feeling this. And um, you know, the only thing that's interesting about it is that it's synthetic. So every morning I have to trim it, you know, because it has like, um, you know, kind of like hair that's starting to fray, but I prefer these cheap, um, you know, hair pieces that are synthetic over the real hair or human hair because to me it looks faker or it doesn't look as real. So this is my first foray, foray into wearing, you know, hair pieces and I don't even know where I got this. I've had it for years, but I just never wore it until um, last October. So let me know your thoughts. 
But um, hopefully this answers the question for the lady that I met at TJ Maxx, as well as for the nosy gentleman that I met at the Fairmont at Copley in Boston um, a few, well, like last month or maybe a month before last, um, a white gentleman who said, your hair is wonderful. You know, is that real? You know, is that your real hair? And he pressed me. And I don't do well with, um, with direct questions, you know, because um, I don't like to lie. And so then I said, yeah, it's real you know, as opposed to imaginary, then I started laughing and I showed him my business card that shows my actual afro and it shows, you know, what my um, afro pulled out on a good day looks like. So, you know, he thought that that was incredible too. But, you know, just to get my hair curly like this, even my mother thinks this is real. She doesn't realize when I go see her um, because I guess she thinks maybe I've set it and pulled it back or something because, you know, it has looked like this full set. But, you know, ain't nobody got time for this, you know, to be set and especially with the treadmill you know, action that I've been getting because now I've reached 6.5 miles a day, five days a week. And so, um, you know, so my hair is just totally wet afterwards and there's just no way that it would actually look good out, you know, in full. So, but anyway, guys, just wanted to share that. Hopefully it helps somebody out there to know my little secrets. And um, I look forward to sharing more tips with you in the very near future. But until then, have a great day. Be sure to like, comment, share. Visit my website if you get a chance, www.yourbestatanyage.com. Until then, have a good one. Bye.